So I got ill and had like fuckload of like spare time. Um, and I, I, my, my brother had shown me Fruity Loops and I saw this Chasing Status remix competition and I thought, you know, why not? I've got nothing else to do. I'll have a go at it. And I had a go and, and like really enjoyed it basically and then got hooked from there. But I was making them um, pretty terrible dubstep uh, when I started. Then it wasn't until about a year or so in, uh, till I kind of, well, probably about a year until I went more 4-4, four, four, like 130 area, and then like probably another year until I got into some of the harder techno that I make now, really. Well, like, the name, like PT5 or Part 5 or whatever you want to call it, it basically stems from the Part 5 of the Public Legislation Act from 1994. Uh, and part five of that was the, um, the law that banned raves, basically. It is illegal to have a gathering of 20 or more people with repetitive beats. So um, I thought that was quite interesting. And it, I, I do the label with my friend and also my manager. We never got to experience those like legal um, free like parties. Um, and my manager did, so it's kind of like we're like, almost like the envious little kids and then he's like he's, he's the one that's experienced it and seen it change. I, I do want the label to have um, like a sound or a vibe whatever you want to call it but I, I don't want to limit like to limit it in terms of what genre of music to release. It's not going to be just a, a straight up techno label it's basically just going to be whatever music me and Al like really so it's probably just going to be a description of our music taste really.